Exclusive tonight, WGXA news cameras were the only ones in the courtroom today capturing a controversial case involving the Bibb County Sheriff's Office. Two men charged in a 2021 murder asking for their case to be dismissed over concerns. The evidence has been mismanaged or gone missing altogether. Brianna Cook has been following this story all day and is in studio with more. Brianna, what was it like inside the courtroom? Greg and Amanda, it was an extremely packed courtroom with officials from the Bibb County Sheriff's Office, including the sheriff himself and every investigator in the department, along with the district attorney. This court finds that there is bad faith here. The murder case of 18-year-old Montavious Reigns Jr. from November 2021 was the topic of a pretrial hearing Tuesday in Bibb County Superior Court. The defense wanted both the indictments and cases against Jalen Smith and Jordan Mullis dismissed following claims of obstruction of evidence. According to the defense, evidence was slowly trickling in and potentially violating clients' rights. Since this summer, the prosecution told the court three times they were ready for the case to start, but issues with evidence forced new delays each time. Assistant District Attorney Don Baskin says that's because of structural issues due to mismanagement of evidence. The person that the initial investigator was working with is no longer there, so now they have somebody else. Communication has dropped. Um, you know, so th there have been issues. The most relevant piece of evidence is a ring camera video that may have captured the shooting. The video was stored on what is now a corrupted external hard drive. Judge Jeffrey Monroe says the ring camera evidence should have been on another hard drive and its disappearance is inexcusable. For whatever reason, it cannot be found. That is an unacceptable state of fact. Defense attorneys expressed concerns to the court not having access to all the evidence in a timely manner. The DA's office says there are two cell phones in evidence, one being the victims and one being the defendants. According to Baskin, the victim's phone was collected on the scene, but was in his clothes and went with his body to the GBI crime lab for autopsy. It was later returned and was not labeled properly, so Bibb County Sheriff's Office didn't know whose phone it was. The defendant's phone wasn't originally labeled for a murder case because it was connected to a drug case. Judge Monroe issued harsh words at every investigator with the Bibb County Sheriff's Office, but wasn't willing to go as far as dismissing the case altogether. That although there is bad faith, that defense has failed to meet his burden of whether this was material. And accordingly, the court is going to deny the defendant's motion to dismiss the indictment. District Attorney Anita Howard says concerns with the evidence in this case boils down to one thing. It was a mismanagement. I think there could have been better communication because the evidence was collected in a proper manner. The search warrants were obtained in a legal and a proper manner. The DA's office has started a task force that will be looking back at all the cases since 2022 to make sure that all the evidence has been handled properly. Prosecutor expect the trial to begin in the next coming weeks. Reporting live in studio, Brianna Cook, WGXA News.